I'm Randy and I make candy and tonight I'm making Oreo Christmas bark. Stick around. <music> Greetings my confectionery compadres and welcome to Randy Makes Candy, where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. For those of you unfamiliar with candy bark, it's a loose term for a sheet of chocolate that has other treats added to it, like crushed cookies, peppermints, or really whatever you want. Then it's broken or cut into pieces and ready for sharing. A lot of times you'll see saltine crackers used as a base for a bark. I was going to follow that route until I saw an unopened package of Oreo Thins in my pantry, so that's what I'm using for the base of tonight's treat. On top of that, we'll have a layer of caramel toffee, some white chocolate, and finally some red and green M&Ms and pretzel bits. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of excited to see how this turns out. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own Oreo Christmas bark, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. For this recipe, I used one package of Oreo Thins, one cup of unsalted butter, one cup of packed brown sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one half tablespoon of salt, two cups of white chocolate chips, some green and red M&Ms, and some pretzels. I'm also using a large baking pan, some parchment, some cooking spray, a saucepan, a couple of spatulas, a thermometer, and some aluminum foil. Okay, let's make some candy. Set your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, then line a baking pan with parchment and spray it with cooking spray. Roughly chop the pretzels. Place the Oreos in the baking pan. Add the brown sugar and butter to a large saucepan over medium-high heat. Bring the mixture to a boil, stirring continuously. Add the thermometer and continue stirring until the mixture reaches 280 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove the saucepan from the stove and stir in the vanilla and salt. Pour the caramel mixture over the top of the cookies and spread it evenly. Place the pan in the oven and bake for five minutes, then remove the pan from the oven and sprinkle the white chocolate over the top. Tent the pan with foil and let it rest for about five minutes to allow the white chocolate to melt. Remove the foil and use a spatula to spread the melted chocolate. Sprinkle the chopped pretzels and M&Ms over the top and gently press them into the chocolate. Refrigerate the bark for a couple of hours or until the chocolate is completely set. Remove the bark from the pan and break or cut it into whatever size pieces you'd like. And that's it. Okay, let's have a taste. Slant va. Wow! First off, so many layers of crunch here. The toffee, the pretzels, the M&Ms. Flavor-wise, the salt in the toffee and pretzels keeps the sweetness level right where I like it. Plus, the variety of ingredients really makes for an exciting and interesting flavor profile.
And this recipe really lends itself to a variety of occasions. Just switch to red and pink M&Ms for Valentine's Day, green for St. Patrick's, pastels for Easter. Whatever the occasion, you really ought to try these. If you enjoyed your time here in the Candy Kitchen, please like, share, and subscribe. Merry Christmas, compadres, and I hope you'll join me next time.